Welcome back everyone to the Creative Coders. We are back for another Spotlight Saturday featuring the pioneering Annie Easley, a rocket scientist for NASA who shattered many barriers for all women, especially black women, through her powerful work. Let's remember that we are confident, creative, and capable coders, as well as people in general. Now that we've remembered our own potential, let's talk about Easley's realization of her own incredible potential, intelligence, and talents. Easley was an integral part of something called the Centaur rocket, which was pivotal for the many shuttle creation and launches to come. Her excitement for NASA was sparked upon reading an article about two sisters who were quote unquote human computers. These were people, mostly women, that could solve complex mathematical equations with the help of their minds alone. Easley was gifted in math and she soon started a career that changed lives. When she first started out as a human computer, she was one of only four black people at her lab. And according to an interview in 2001, she didn't intend to break so many barriers. Faced with racism and massage noir, which is the unique discrimination faced by many black women, she famously remarked, my head is not in the sand. But my thing is, if I can't work with you, I will work around you. I was not about to be discouraged so that I'd walk away. That may be a solution for some people, but it's not mine. With the rise of machine computers, Easley became an incredible programmer and diligently learned Fortran and SOAP, both very early programming languages. Her analysis was critical for developing energy conservation systems, which were the beginnings of finding alternative ways to generate power. Her programs were also incredibly important in developing the Centaur rocket, like I mentioned earlier. Easley was, in every sense of the word, a trailblazer. She went back to school at Cleveland State to study math in the 1970s while still working a full-time job. She believed in the power of education and loved tutoring students while she was still studying herself. Easley was also active in outreach efforts and often sought outreach opportunities to encourage women and communities of color to harness their potential and apply their talents in STEM fields. Easley was a team player and consistently found ways to elevate her team members by expressing her appreciation for their work. She was also an equal employment opportunity counselor in her career, and she guided business leaders in efforts to increase diversity and inclusion in the workplace. Easley is easily a pioneer, and I am so thankful that she paved the way for so many women in communities of color. Just like Easley said, you can be anything you want to be, but you have to work at it. You can be a coder, a scientist, an engineer, an artist, a mathematician, all of those things, and so much more. You are truly limitless. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to this special episode of Spotlight Saturdays. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend.